everybody, it's Christina from CardMakingMagic.com What we're going to make this time is this beautiful trellis card It's very easy to do, it looks complicated but it's very easy to do So to start with, you're going to prepare all the things that you need So from various punches and die cuts, I've cut out some flower shapes and from the green card, we've cut out some small um, fern leaves. So with your ink pad and your blending tool, you're just going to start to ink the edges of all the petals to your flower shapes. Just dab it gently on your pad and then lightly go around the edge of your petal shapes until you've done all the shapes that you need. So once you've inked up all the edges to your petals, you need to assemble your flowers. I'm not going to show you how to assemble all the flowers because there are lots of tutorials on the website to show you how to do this. This is just one of the, the flower shapes that you can make. Just glue in the centre, glue your petals together and leave on one side just to dry. And then with all the different shapes that you've cut, these are just some of the flowers that you may uh, end up with. Obviously it depends on the punches and the dies that you have. Now with this one, all I've done is scrunch the petals up and glittered the edges and added a brad in the centre. So those are just some of the, the flowers that we're going to use to make the card. So to make the base card you need an A4 card, another piece of A4 card folded in half to make an A5 and another piece of card cut into strips to make the trellis work. So you're going to take your big A4 piece of card and fold it in half and you need the other half piece to be placed inside but it needs to come to the front of the card and then using whichever method you have I use spellbinders you cut out the aperture in the front of the card. So this is what you will end up with. You've got your two apertures in your full A4 card, your piece of A5 card, and don't throw these away. These can be used on another project. So now if you flip the card over and work on the inside, and I'm going to put mine on some paper so it doesn't dirty the, the mat. You're now going to start placing the trellis work. So with some wet glue, you're just going to make little glue dots, little glue marks, and place the trellis work onto the glue. And with some small scissors, just trim off the end of the, the piece that you've just stuck into place. Now if it's long enough, you can use this piece for the next part of the trellis work. So again, just a couple of little dots of glue. Place your trellis work in place and make sure it's straight. And again, just trim off the edge as you go along and all we're going to do is just work our way down the card placing all the trellis work in place try and keep your distances equal and your trellis work straight so once you've put all the strips in place going one way you need to weave the strips in the other way. So where you've gone under, over, under, over, you now 
going to do it the opposite way for the next row. So just weave them through. And once you've done that, you're just going to snip off the excess and glue those in place with just a small blob of wet glue. Just glue it in place. Make sure it's equal and straight and press it in place. And you're going to repeat that process till you've got all your strips in position. So once you have all your strips in position, don't worry about the workings inside the card because this is why you cut the other piece. So you now need to marry up the, the, the templates, the patterns, and again, with your wet glue, you're just going to place that in the centre. And very carefully, make sure it all marries up and just glue it into place. Using a wet glue gives you the chance to just move it slightly so that you have it all centred. And then when you close the card, you then have the trellis work to, your, to the front of your card. So once your card is dry, you're just going to choose a paper that you like and you're going to line the back of the inside of the card. So it just shows through the trellis work. Glue it in place, trim off the edges. So once your card is dry, you can now start to place your flowers. Just do them as a dry run for now to make sure that you like where they go. And once you've decided that this is what you want, you can then go on and glue them in place. But for now, just play and see where they look the prettiest. As long as you've not glued them in place, you can always change your mind. So here is the finished card. We've used brads for the centre of the large flowers. I've used tiny self-adhesive pearls for the centre of the small flowers. I've added um, a butterfly and a decorative pin. This is the card in a different colourway, but again we've added the butterfly, a couple of decorative pins, but in the centre of these paper flowers we've added tiny little rosebuds and decorative pearls in the, the centre of the smaller flowers. <laughs> 